So I was just out and about surfing the web today and I came across something. Something that will probably make people who don't like Spider-Man 3 love Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 play 1 might be happening! After all these years, after Spider-Man 2 got a Spider-Man 2.1, Spider-Man 3 might finally be getting a Spider-Man 3.1 released on Blu-ray. There's a new box set, they're re-releasing the box sets, they're re-releasing all of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, the original Spider-Man trilogy, and then they're re-releasing the Amazing Spider-Man duology for the, the upcoming release of Spider-Man Homecoming. It's a whole new box set, three discs, fourth disc included that includes Spider-Man 3.1. At least that's what the rumor is, but holy shit, if that holds up, if that holds up! be throwing pictures of the box arts in this video yeah spider-man 3.1 it's probably coming from what i've heard it's just extended fight scenes but there are a couple of things that i really want to see a couple of them in particular sound amazing first of all that scene in spider-man 3 where peter parker's like grappling with who he like is now he's looking in the mirror and he realizes he's got the black suit on and then he takes it off and puts it in the trunk no and doesn't want anything to do with it in the new in there's a deleted scene in spider-man 3.1 that was kept out of the theatrical release where when he's looking in the mirror you see a flash of venom's face i want to see that if that is in spider-man 3.1 put that in the damn movie yes the end going to change because the end of spider-man 3 really kind of just left you on a cliffhanger and it wasn't really all that satisfying to say the least just featured Peter Parker and MJ making up and just hugging and then whew, black credits. Yeah, I heard that there was an ending that was filmed where after all of that, Spider-Man is swinging through New York City with Mary Jane. Yeah, I want that ending. I want to see that because it, the ending for the theatrical cut to Spider-Man 3 just feels so out of place. Compared to the first two, the first two end with him swinging through the city, and the third one just ends with a hug. No, if, if that ending was filmed for Spider-Man 3.1, was left out of the theatrical cut, I want that ending. Please. So yeah, apparently this is the new box set. The first three discs are the theatrical cuts of Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, I think Spider-Man 2.1 is also on that disc, and Spider-Man 3, and then there's a bonus disc with Spider-Man 3.1! And deleted scenes, and behind the scenes, and webisodes, and director commentary. Now I'm not going to post the cover art for the Spider-Man duology, because simply I don't care, but if you are a hardcore Spider-Man fan and you want all five of them, yeah, the five that we have, there is a box set, so there's two separate box sets, there's the Sam Raimi trilogy box set that's being re-released, I have one, it's being re-released, if Spider-Man 3.1 is in there, I'm buying that. Uh, there's another box set with the Mark Webb films that I won't be buying. I didn't like those films. However, if you are a hardcore Spider-Man fan, there is a box set that includes the Rami trilogy and the Mark Webb duology. And you have all of those in one box set. That's pretty fucking cool. Now, this has been a long time in the making. If Walmart and Best Buy are showing us what they're predicting, and we're seeing... Images on Twitter of this new box set. We know that it got confirmed today. It got announced today, this new box set. That Spider-Man 3.1 is going to be in here. That is just clever because it's been 10 years. How long did it take for Spider-Man 2.1 to come out? It's been 10 goddamn years. We're coming up on the anniversary of... Of when Spider-Man 3 was released in theaters. And say what you want about Spider-Man 3. But it sure as hell made money. Yeah. The movie itself. At least it was better than the Amazing Spider-Man movies. And for those of you wondering. I was just kind of looking online. It looks like the box set that has all five of them. 
is only 4K Ultra, so you would have to have a 4K Blu-ray player. I didn't see anything about Blu-ray Blu only for that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, that second box set that has the Mark Webb films, that's called the Spider-Man Evolution uh, box set. Just the two of them. So you have the Spider-Man Origins, which is Sam Raimi. Spider-Man Evolution, which is the Mark Webb, and then you get Spider-Man Legacy, which is on 4K Ultra. As far as I know, I far, as far as I know, it's not on Blu-ray, like or it won't be on Blu-ray. All five of them together in a box set. You had, I think, if you wanted them on Blu-ray, you would have to buy them separately. Um, yeah, that's the Spider-Man Legacy collection. But hey, if this means we get Spider-Man 3.1, I want it! I want Spider-Man 3.1! The reported runtime for Spider-Man 3.1 is like 2 hours and 40 minutes. That's 20 minutes longer. Yeah. Yeah. It could make the movie better. So yeah, that's me flipping out on Spider-Man 3.1's possible arrival on home media. Um, if... If it's there, I'm buying that box set. Uh, because I really want to see 2 hours and 36 minutes of Spider-Man 3. Although, 2 hours and 19 minutes of Spider-Man 3 wasn't that great. But, if it, 2 hours and 36 minutes makes the movie better, I'm all for it. So, yay! You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I'll put my Twitter handle in the info box below as to what this video is about. Yeah, that's always there. Facebook's always there. Official website coming soon. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click on one of the videos at the end of this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.